All right, guys. This time we're going to send. Uh, we're going to create a notification with actions. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing again. We're just going to copy and paste our basic notification method, and we're going to say the send action notification. And we're going to open up our uh, layout file and just throw in another button. And we're just going to edit the text. Okay. Well, that's ready to go. And then we just need to uh, add our uh, case statement. God damn it, I keep hitting uh, control D. It's duplicate in um, Android Studio. That It's a very handy command. I don't know what it is on this, but I'm not arsed to learn it. I don't use Android Studio that much. Or that, I don't use it that much. Anyway, let's just set action. Okay. Send action notification. So we're going to send our basic notification, but we're going to add some buttons to it. You've seen this before. Um, where you'd have a notification for an alarm which would have a snooze and dismiss button. So let's set a snooze and dismiss button for some reason. So we're gonna say builder dot set hmm. give me a hot second. Um so I figured out uh, what it's called. I actually had a computer error in my last file got corrupted where I split the file to look it up. But it's called builder.addaction to add the button. Uh, you need to provide a drawable for the icon, so we're just going to use the, the launcher. We're going to add a snooze button in capitals because we're amazing. No, we're not. And the intent, this intent parameter is the pending intent you would use to send it off. So normally on a notification you'd use something um, set content intent. I actually didn't show you that already did I? But I showed you in the last e at a intense video you'd set a pending intent on the notification and then when you tap the notification that's what happens. The actions you can set pending intent for each action which tell the notification to do different things. Anyway we'll just uh, duplicate that line. I don't know how to do that shorthand. I know you do it in the other thing. I'll say dismiss and we'll run this. I'll need to start uh, my emulator first. I've been having weird issues lately with my computer. I think my I might have solved them, but I was having blue screens. I know I've complained about this in the last video or two as well. I recorded this video on blocks. Anyway, that's all launching. Give that a second to launch. Okay, so that has launched. And now if we run this and we send our action notification, it should work. And there we go. Snoo the snooze and dismiss are all there. So we'd like to monitor the log cat. Yep, snooze and dismiss buttons are there. They're grayed out because they have no pending intent associated with them. But if we did, they'd be white. And that's it for actions. Very nice. That'll be the end of my notification tutorials. There is one other type of notification called a persistent notification where you use it to create a very long-term notification for a long-running service such as a music player or something that runs in the foreground that the system cannot kill. And uh, it's a permanent notification, but we're not gonna get into those. They're quite very advanced and I don't like using them myself. But anyway, guys, as always, it's been good talk. I'll see you out there.